my last lecture i have given you the concept of pass adjustment where we have made an adjustment table and we have passed a single journal entry in the two successive lectures i will explain to you the past adjustment in which more than one journal entry will be prepared that means preparation of separate journal entries and in this case we will not be using the adjustment table as we had used earlier now let us read the question you can see the question says the balance of the capital account on 31st march 2020 of ash and lee was 2,50,000 and 2,80,000 up till now whichever sums we have done we have seen that a capital has been given at the beginning of the year on 1st april 2019 but here you can see the capital has been given on 31st of march 2020 that means it is a year end the profit for the year ended 31st march 2020 which was already distributed was 1 lakh in 2 is to 3 that is the psr which is given the drawings of the year of ash was 30000 and lee was 20000 later it was discovered that the interest on capital at 10% was not taken into account while calculating the divisible profit here one thing has to be taken into consideration that the capital has been provided at the end of the year and we all know that the interest on capital is either calculated for the beginning of the year or for additional capitals made during the year so it becomes very important to find out the opening capital after that we will start doing the sum after reading the question we have come across that there are two partners ash and lee and their capital balances are given on 31st of march 2020 that means it is given at the end of the year now whenever the capital balance is given at the end of the year we are supposed to calculate the opening capital because it is on the opening capital only the interest on capital which was missed out will be calculated if you see the question very carefully the you have been given the capital of ash and lee at the end of the year as 250000 and 280000 respectively but before that we let us understand the basic formula with which we will actually calculate the opening capital the formula is closing capital that is the capital at the end of the year plus drawings if any minus net profit now here if there is a net loss that will also be added and if there is no drawing given therefore we don't have to take that into consideration but in this question the drawing is also given and the net profit is also given and the psr is also given as 2 is to 3 so taking that into account let us now calculate the capital at the beginning of the year so there are two partners ash and lee and their capital as on 31st march 2020 if you remember very carefully the the capital of ash was 250 and the capital of lee was 280 so over here ash is 250000 and lee is 280000 with that we will add drawings now what are the figures of drawings which has been given to us see very carefully the drawing which has been given to us is 30000 is the drawing of ash and 20000 is the drawing of lee so we are adding 30000 here and we are adding 20000 over here so as a result we are getting 280000 and we are getting 3 lakh from that we will subtract less net profit which was distributed among the partners in the ratio of 2 is to 3 because their profit sharing ratio was 2 is to 3 and if you remember the net profit was 1 lakh and if it is divided in the ratio of 2 is to 3 it will be 40000 for first partner and 60000 to the next partner because the psr is 2 is to 3 If we subtract that two lakh eighty thousand minus forty thousand, we get two lakh forty thousand, and three lakh minus sixty thousand also gives us two lakh forty thousand. 
Now, what information has been provided? Information has been provided, interest on capital that 10% was missing. It was not taken into consideration. So, we'll find out 10% interest on capital and you can see very carefully, the interest on capital comes to 24,000 for both the partners because both the partners have the opening capital as 2,40,000. Both the partners have the opening capital as 2,40,000 and 10% of 2,40,000 is 24,000 each. So with this we have calculated the interest on capital but first we have calculated the opening capital because that is imperative. Without that we cannot calculate the interest on capital. After the calculations are over, now we will move on to the journal entries and we will see how the sum is being done. After calculating the interest on capital of 24,000 for both the partners Ash and Lee and after seeing the profit of the year which was 1 lakh which was distributed in the ratio of 2 is to 3 that is 40,000 and 60,000. Now we will make the journal entries to correct this error. See very carefully over here we will be making more than one journal entry that is the reason why we have not made an adjustment table which we are making in our previous sum of past adjustments. So first thing first is what is the profit of the partners that is 1 lakh and how has it been written? It is written in the ratio of 2 is to 3. Therefore, Ash had got 40,000 and Lee had got 60,000. Now, we have to reverse that. Whenever we will be reversing it, you will be using an account for the profit and loss adjustment account. If you remember, these things were in the debit side of the profit and loss appropriation account. Now, when we are reversing it, profit and loss adjustment account will be credited and the capital account of both the partners will be debited. So, first, let us concentrate on the format of the journal. We can see very carefully date, particulars, ledger folio, debit and credit. And after that, let us start with the journal. See in this question, the date has been given to you that is 31st of March 2020. So all the entries will be made on that date 31st March 2020. So the date is 31st of March 2020 and we'll start with the first entry that is Ashes Capital Account, Ashes Capital Account Debit, Lee's Capital Account Debit to Profit and loss adjustment account. Profit and loss adjustment account. So what is it? The amount is 1 lakh and now that has been divided in the ratio of 2 is to 3. So 40,000 for the first partner and 60,000. 40,000 for the first partner and 60,000 for the second partner because it is divided in the ratio of 2 is to 3. This is the reversal entry and the narration is being incorrect profit cancelled. Okay, the narration is being incorrect profit cancelled. This is very important. Narration should be written. Do not miss to write the narrations. It is very important. The next journal entry is the interest on capital. If you remember, the interest on capital was 24,000. So, we'll pass the interest on capital. Who are the two partners? Ash and Lee. So, the next journal entry is interest on capital account debit to Ash's capital. To lease capital. What is the amount? Both got 24,000. So 48,000, 24,000, and 24,000. So this is the journal. Be very careful about it. And here the narration will be interest on capital provided. The narration will be interest on capital provided. Being Interest on capital provided. Now, after that, we will transfer this interest on capital to the account which we have just now created, that is profit and loss adjustment account. So, where it will be? Profit and loss adjustment account will be debited and the interest on capital account will be credited. And therefore, the next journal entry is 
profit and loss adjustment account debit to interest on capital account what is the amount 48000 48000 48000 so what is the narration being interest on capital transfer to transfer just that much is enough interest on capital transfer now you can obviously write transfer to profit and loss adjustment account if you please but if you don't want to write you can just write being interest on capital transfer now these are the three entries which we have passed and if you see very carefully in the first entry profit and loss adjustment account has been credited by 1 lakh and in the last general entry profit and loss has been debited by 48,000. So what is the resultant profit? The resultant profit which should have actually been distributed among the partners would be 52,000. See very carefully. Now this 52,000 will actually be divided in the ratio of 2 is to 3 and that will be the final journal entry. Now if we divide 52,000 in the ratio of 2 is to 3, you can see 52,000 divided by 5 multiplied by 2 will give you a figure of 20,800 and 52,000 divided by 5 multiplied by 3 will give you a figure of 31,200. So you can see very carefully the actual distribution of the profit should have been 20,800 and 31,200 but by mistake it was done as 40,000 and 60,000. After understanding these three journal entries now we'll make the final journal entry. So the final journal entry is profit and loss adjustment account debit to ashes capital to lease capital so what have we calculated see very carefully the adjusted profit with our calculation had come to 52,000 and 20,800 to the first partner 31,200 to the second partner. Now the narration is being profit correctly adjusted. Being profit correctly adjusted. This is the final journal entry. So in this question, if you have seen that we have passed four journal entry, first three journal entry was to rectify the errors and the last journal entry is to show the correct profit. After completing this sum, I'll come with my next lecture in which I'll do the same type of sum in which there will be more than one error. See over here, there, the error was only interest on capital. Probably in the next sum, we'll take that two errors, which is interest on drawing and interest on capital. And we'll see what is the result. Keep watching my channel. Don't miss any of my lectures.